Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with TheBlogTree.com. This is the Vitorium Deep Diver, the highly anticipated uh, new dive watch from Vitorium. Uh, this is an interesting piece all the way around. It's got a lot of interesting features on there. You can see that the case has sort of this dual construction where there's sort of the inner case and then this big cap with this sort of wave-like pattern around there that makes it really interesting. Uh, it's a chunky steel case, uh, lots of alternating polish. So right here it's brushed. On the inside it's polished. Um, again on the surface here you have brushed uh, finishes here. The bezel is polished. Uh, the bezel is a rotating bezel. Um, feels quite nice. A little hard to grip but not that big of a deal. Um, this isn't what I would call a true diver's watch and since it doesn't meet certain specifications. Uh, one of the funny parts of the watch is the fact that it's called the Deep Diver and it goes to 200 meters and Vitorium's other watch called the AT goes to 500 meters. So the watch called the Deep Diver doesn't go as deep as the AT. <laughs> um, and I think, I think that water resistance has a lot to do with the case. Um, because it's a more unorthodox design. Um, I, I like this one. I think it's really, really cool. Case is big, 47 millimeters wide. Um, lugs are very wide apart, so you're going to have to have a pretty big wrist to wear a watch like this. Quite easy to read. Carbon fiber dial. Uh, the applied hour markers in the hands have super luminova. Crystal is sapphire with anti-reflective coating. Uh, I love the strap. The strap is rubber, but it's Swiss made rubber. And there's nothing inherently special about rubber that was made in Switzerland, but the quality is really, really good. Uh, sometimes they're vanilla scented. This isn't vanilla scented, but, they, they're, but they're known to do that. So you can see on my wrist there, they're a little bit smaller. Big big watch. It is comfortable, though. Uh, it's comfortable. It doesn't move around. I like it, but it is it is a larger watch. I love the design of the case. It's, it's kind of showy, but not blingy. I, I, does that make sense? It's, it's a showy, sort of uh, ostentatious design without being pretentious. It's just sort of a fun design. And it's easy to read and the dial just stands out at you. It's a quartz watch. has a Swiss Eta movement inside. Uh, no date. Um, I would have liked the date to have been there. I don't know why. I like the date. I'm the kind of guy that likes the date. Some people hate the date. They feel like it kills the aesthetic balance on the watch, but I'm the kind of guy that likes the date. Uh, just a very interesting watch with a lot of great detailing on there. For example, if you look on the inside there of the case, there's a double flange ring. The inner flange ring has small hour and minute indicators on there. Um, and then above it is a slightly sloped flange ring that has the Vittorium name sort of repeated around there, kind of like Rolex does. Um, it's a little detail. It's, it's not the type of thing that you notice all the time, but it's, it's good to know it's there. And I like the Vittorium is able to put in those cool, intricate little details. Uh, price for this watch is $895. Not too bad for this level of construction. Uh, uh, a lot of, a lot of the, I think, Almost everything is Swiss made. Um, the strap, the movement, um, a lot of the parts are Swiss made. So it's just a, it's a good, it's a good watch. It's cool. If you like the design, uh, it's something very, very different. And a lot of people like watches that are quite different. But in addition to being different, it's also very useful. Again, this is the Vitorium Deep Diver, and you can read the full review on a blog to read. Thanks.